Right, so welcome back to Exhaven Harbour. And as you can see, my dirty old work trainer, the boot is not on, but my foot is still not quite healed yet. I've got an appointment at the hospital next week. And it's I'm <laughs> sort of still limping around a little bit, and it's a little bit difficult to do too much for too long. So anyway, that's the good news. Uh, so without trying to make you too sick uh, basically I haven't done any more on the helix um, now this is due to the fact that me and Mrs X Haven did get away we recovered from Covid in time and uh, we did have a week in Lanzarote we didn't we missed the cruise unfortunately a little dream holiday but hopefully we'll be doing that again at some other time but um yeah, so well relaxed and probably needed that actually with my foot and uh, oh, getting over COVID uh, and missing the cruise. It was just nice to have a little bit of time together and lazy in the sunshine and it was lovely. So uh, anyway, back to the layout. Um, and as you can maybe see, maybe not, I've had a big tidy up in here. Um, in fact, massive. I spent all day yesterday doing this. I had everything out and it's amazing how much stuff that you accumulate. I mean, honestly, it was unbelievable and it needed doing because I had no room to move at all. And uh, it was actually starting to get on my nerves a little bit. <clears throat> so that's what I've done. I nearly killed my foot doing it. But um, it's all back in now. And um, part of the other reason is that um, Mrs. X Haven's mum is 80 uh, this weekend. And uh, I've had to have a tidy up. <laughs> or I was told to have a tidy up because the family are coming round. And uh, the cabin needed to be in a bit of a better state. Because obviously a lot of the little kids will want to see the model railway. So uh, everything is as neat and tidy as I've had it for a long, long time. So the only other thing that I need to say is if we sort of move out here. Um, get that door in. So next week, our conservatory, uh, which has been with us for nearly 20 years, uh, is going to be taken away and a new room put on the side of the house. So <clears throat> it shouldn't affect my uh, building of the helix um, the builders will be here there might be a bit more noise and uh, but I'm sure at some stage it, it will <laughs> it will have an impact on on what I'm doing so so bear with me over the next few weeks um, I might even make a start on the helix tomorrow um, if I get a chance but I've, I've still got a fair bit of gardening to do um, and the trouble is with my foot I have to sort of do a bit at a time because I can't bend it <laughs> so uh, you know on my hands and knees in the garden is a bit hard work so anyway that's the update that's where we are and uh, hopefully we're on the way forward again right so to finish up just on this little update really because of everything that's gone in the past few weeks I haven't got that far but I have finished the cottages um, fresh from a coat of uh, Halford's matte lacquer, uh, I've weathered all the roofs um, and I've added the chimney pots which I make out of styrene lengths of, well, little round lengths, uh, and then paint and terracotta. I've got a whole little pot of them, I make them up as in a badge. And, uh, I'm really pleased with how they come out in the little fruity cottages. Made a few little mistakes along the way. But um, to be honest, with Scout Sense kits, you can get away with a few things because you can cover things up. And uh, I'm really pleased with how they turned out. And uh, the lacquer uh, I've put on, the Halfords uh, matte lacquer, is just basically to protect the colour. Uh, because they can fade in the sunlight. Now, fortunately, the cabin doesn't get lots of sunlight. Um, 
and I've now put, if you remember a couple of weeks ago, I was building a good shed uh, for Budley Regis. Well, that's in place now, and again, that's just from a fresh coat of lacquer. Now, that gets a little bit of sunshine in the mornings. The sun has gone round now, so um, hopefully that will just stop the colours from fading. Um, I think I've done the same thing with the station, uh, and they haven't faded. Although I think the station may get rebuilt again, um, I may make it slightly to be a little bit more important. I, I, it does represent the Sidmouth station, um, but I get the feeling I'm going to be using this a little bit more than uh, perhaps Sidmouth was actually used. So that's for the future. So moving round now. Uh, the church as well. The Metcalf church has had uh, a good lacquering and uh, it's not in the place that it's going to be but I've just put it there for now. Uh, it's just uh, nice and, and the same with the cottages, they won't be there but I've built them just to, just to see and uh, I, like I say I'm very happy with how these Gaussians kits especially are turning out now. Uh, the more you do, the better you get at it, and um, it's uh, it's quite a nice way of spending an evening, actually. <laughs> a bit of telly on, and uh, making up a few scale scenes kits. I'm, I'm going to have a little go at the uh, new free download. Um, which is, I can't remember what they call it now, it's like a, like a little store. So uh, I've got that, but I've got plenty of other kits to be building as well. But uh, obviously the main priority is to try and get on with a helix. So uh, that's what we'll be doing over the next couple of weeks. Like I say, we've got the building work going on. And, uh, you know, I'll fit it in when I can, really. But uh, yeah, all's good. Uh, obviously we've got the Class 50 and the Class 52 running around. Uh, I should be getting on with something else, really. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know what it's like. You get slightly waylaid. So <laughs> uh, I'll have to make up some excuse when Mrs. X Hayden gets home why I haven't done certain jobs. But anyway, there we go. Um, it's just a short update, really, this week. And um, hopefully you'll have a little bit more of what's going on with the Helix next time. Right, okay, so I think that's just about it for Exhaven Harbour this, this time. And uh, hopefully, uh, a bit, like I said, there'll be a bit more news in the next one. Um, thank you to all the new subscribers as well. Another nice little batch from the last video. That went down rather well. I'm really pleased. And um, thanks for all your support. Cheers, everybody.